We're going to be playing some games and demos today, folks. We're having a geezer go. Hi there. This is just a short demo, 10 to 15 minutes. We hope you enjoy and we're excited to share the full game soon. Happy, happy broccoli team. So this is the Duck Detective. Um, we've seen this in the previous uh, Nintendo World Indies. Indie World? Nintendo Direct thing that they were doing? Um, I thought it looked really cute and fun, so I wanted to try it out. Um, and that's what we're going to do. Wow. This uses the analog stick and not the D-pad. That's weird. Options. That's perfectly fine. Then. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's check something. So, we're going to go into options again. And we're going to bring the... Wow. Very sensitive analog stick. Oh, what voice volume's fine. Okay. I think that'll do. Alright. You get it. It's a, it's a sensitive menu system. Life wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. I was a freshly divorced duck. Not able to pay next month's rent. Immediately loving this duck's voice. Not that I had paid for it this month yet. My brain felt foggy. And I was trying to remember. So that it's the, uh, the clash between re like really incredibly cute visuals and this like kind of hard-boiled, takes-no-prisoners duck voice, uh, detective voice. It's really cool. Where did all my money go? I had to retrace last night's steps. Okay. <laughs> Deductions. <laughs> I love it. A vital part of detective work. Find clue words by questioning persons and inspecting your surroundings. Enter clue words into the blank spaces to solve the de deductions. Okay. The nest egg. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Brilliant. I won't be needing this badge anymore. I guess I can keep it as a souvenir. My new job as the duck detective isn't going any better, though. <sighs> well, if things keep going badly, I can always sell it online. That's what? <laughs> no messages. Typically. I can't believe Anna actually filed the divorce papers. There you go. Second overdue notice. I wonder at what point they start kicking people out. <sighs> I took that photo of her in a secluded tulip field. We spoke for hours under the stars that night. And now, she doesn't even answer my texts. This fresh smell. Oh, sweet smell. Bungee loaf. Oh, you keep me safe at night. I have everything I need to solve this now. Okay. <clears throat> um, the duck detective spent money on Wait, what? Two seconds. I must have missed something there. 
I can't believe Anna. I have everything I need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I need to be able to like remember it though. <laughs> Second overdue notice. I wonder at what point they start. I have everything I need. Yes, that's cool. <sighs> I took that photo of her in a secluded to We spoke for hours under the stars that night. And now, she doesn't even answer my... I have everything I need. Okay. Let's... Such a such a sensitive menu. It's weird Detective that they... work isn't easy. You need to pay attention, Dad. There must have been something I overlooked. Ponder the details. There was nothing to ponder yet. I just had to keep collecting clues. Okay. Well, there must be another clue somewhere then. Alright, maybe not then. Um. So. Thing is, right? <laughs> Duck approved? Really? Yeah. Not my proudest moment. But the toast helps me to forget. All right. Hannah! I'm a different duck now. I haven't had a, a slice of bread in weeks. You have to believe me! Uh, <clears throat> oh. Yeah, if you're speaking to the duck detective. Let's discuss this in person. <laughs> Now, be there in an hour. Did you know that there are over a thousand ducks? Nope. <laughs> <coughs> I had I no spent idea. more than half of my remaining cash on the bus fare. And here I was, in front of their bus office. Some sort of Rundown coal center. I better crack this case, or I won't even have enough money to make it back home. Oh, whoop, whoops. Sorry. Sorry. Don't know what happened there. Sorry about that. Whoops. I accidentally clicked something with my mouse. Apologies. New bus route starting in August. Visit the scenic mountains of South Sicia. I'd always tell Anna we'd go there one day. Oh, what is this? I'm staying here until I get my money back. Okay. Sound unhappy. You bet I am. Their stupid buses always arrive late. I came back from a work trip to the west and arrived here at three in the morning. And they don't even want to give me a refund. How much did you pay? Um, two schmark. <laughs> but that's not the point. It's about the principal. This office looks like it'll worsen my depression. Any other things we can see here? No. I could already tell based on her face that the receptionist was a tough one. She wouldn't make life easy for me. But I had to make my way into the office. Okay. 
Okay. I'm the duck detective. I'm here to investigate a case. Okay. Do you work here? Uh, no. Then I can't let you in. But I've been hired by someone from Bearbus. Who hired you? Um, I didn't catch their name. Listen, buddy. You better get out of here, or I'll have to call security. There's always more to people than you might think. I should take a closer look and figure out what she's about. Um, why? Is that one? <laughs> right, okay. That's funny. Her hands like realistic. <laughs> That's like really cool how like when you inspect them like they're a bit more detailed. <laughs> That's cool, like. Oh, there you go. <coughs> okay, K pop fan. Let's have a wee look. It says server room. It's locked. You're still here? Sorry. it. I'll leave you alone. Right, Laura from CS is way too loud. I can hear her keyboard all the way to my desk. I swear if someone steals my mug again I'll end them. It's Sophie's birthday next Thursday. Just saying. These are quite mundane. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody wrote something more scandalous. It's important to work out a suspect's name to crack the case. First enter the portrait to your journal suspect page. Okay. I think that's Sophie. It's whoever's birthday it is, because it's like... Because if we look at this, it says it's Sophie's birthday. And she's clearly sad. She probably didn't get any texts or friends or anything like that. So, let's go to here again. She's a K-pop fan, she's sad. Okay. You're still here? Good observation, Sophie Windheimer. Get out. Aren't you impressed I deduced your name? I'm wearing a name tag, nitwit. Well, it doesn't say your first name, though. That part is creepy, but I'm choosing to ignore it. All right. You're still here? Uh. I'll leave you alone. Just say happy birthday to her, man. Come on. It's locked. 
Of course it is. This office is for employees only. cleaning I should be able to figure out what's going I need to check my notes in the deduct okay Sophie why is this so sensitive this feeling sad because uh, nobody has remembered her birthday Ah, that's why she's making such a face. I should try and cheer her up. You're still here? I'm just here to wish you a happy birthday. <gasps> How did you know? Just another one of Duck Detective's great deductions. Huh? Uh, anyway... That was really nice of you. No one else remembered. Can you believe it? If you know my birthday, you must have a connection to someone here. Here's the key card to the office. Thank you could you. have just told me you know someone here. Not sure why you acted so weird with all the detective business. He, all right, okay. He did say someone here hired them. It says it's locked. Okay. Server room. Ducks are seventy six percent more likely to solve cases, that's good. <clears throat> The stained carpets and peeling wallpaper exuded a stench of stale coffee and abandoned dreams. I knew I couldn't stay long, or it would rub off on me. Oh, this is the last straw! The Redderson needs to be fired! I'll see what I can do. Who are you? Do you have a problem? If you have one, just call our damn hotline. I'm Eugene McQuacklin, the duck detective. A client hired me to investigate a case. <sighs> Why didn't you just say so? It's time we put an end to the awful lunch death. All we need to fire him is some evidence for the upper management. I'll be in my office. First, I had to find out who works here and what their jobs are. I needed to find my client as well. Inspecting the crime scene will be important too, but this is a demo. So you'll have to wait for the rest of the game <laughs> tonight. Thanks for playing. Well, thank you for letting me play it. Um, immediate feedback would be, you know, let the D-pad be something that you can use to input the, the menu stuff. Um, and of course, the analog stick. If you're just going to stick with analog stick, can you make it like a bit less twitchy? Like, um, <laughs> I'm pressing down or up to select an option, and then when I let go, the I'll let go of the stick, it's flicking back to the previous option. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, okay, B to exit, A to quack. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, that was really fun. That was really cool. Um, very short day. I, I thought the demo was going to be actually a bit longer than that, but again, never played it, so I didn't really, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, but we are going to switch to our next game now. Uh, here we go. I'll be right back.
Here we go. This game is this. He's got a feature. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is a game that I remember that came out back on the PS2. And I seen that they were remastering it for the Switch. I'd never played it on the PS2. But I'd kind of always wanted to try it. So, yeah. Let's, let's give it a bash, shall we? This is uh, El Shaddai, Ascension of the Metatron. Wow, that's loud. Let me tell you a tale. It took place 360,000... No, 14,000 years ago. Well, to me it seems like only yesterday. To you, it could be tomorrow. It's the story of a man. Known by 72 different names. Hmm. <laughs> What should I call him? When we first met, his name was Enoch. And even then, he wouldn't let anyone tell him what to do. Not even me. But he was a pretty good guy. Okay. Save complete. I'm wondering what the uh, it's it's like it's an old PS2 game, so I'm assuming that it's going to be like uh, reasonably good for uh, frame rate and that. Let's have a quick wee look here. What's operation mode? What is that? High res action. High res, please. Uh, action, sorry. Uh huh. Subtitles. English, that's fine. Oh, that's nice. Right, okay. That should be fine. <coughs> okay. Select difficulty to match your playstyle and ability. If you want to enjoy the story, a bit more challenging combat. All right. There's only easy and normal. So, I don't want to have a hard time and keep dying in the demo. I, like again, I've never played this before, so I don't know what it's going to be like. So we'll just set it to easy the now. Just to sort of get an idea of what the game looks like and plays the like. The armor okay? If not, I could... No problem. Everything's fine. at all, is it? And even though the game's in action mode... You get more than one chance, you know. <laughs> Never give up, not even if you're completely drained, you must keep struggling to the bitter end. If you die in battle, rapidly press these buttons on the controller. Okay. Um, L, R, A and X. A and X, that's them. What is going on? 
Is this like a total meta thing that's going on? It is. Okay. It's Good. time, Enoch. Are you ready to leave? I gotta say, I'm kind of looking forward to this trip. Say. <clears throat> you've not been down below for some time, have you? You're in for a surprise. Enoch, you sure that's enough armor? I'll take the best you have. Right. Time to go. Hey, KP, how you doing, buddy? Enoch. Chapter Zero, the journey begins. See those figures in the distance? Try and reach them. Okay. Do I have the ability to run? There you go. Start to run now. The tools and weapons humans use are all based on wisdom from heaven. Wisdom humans couldn't attain in a thousand years. Anyway, try jumping to those figures. Okay. How are you, my man? Fruits of wisdom were created by God. They can help. They can be helpful to people, or they can be abused for evil. It all depends on how you use them. Don't let your enemies draw near them in battle. Okay. Okay. Can you take it from here? I don't know. Are these people enemies, though? Okay. Move. Attack. Guard. Jump. Double jump. Okay, gotcha. Good, thanks. So you're Enoch. good as well. Yeah, 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 I'm good. Humans have a unique gift the power of choice. Free will. They can follow any path they desire. Why is the game running so slowly? My word. So choose your path carefully. The future of mankind depends on it. Yeah, we. Not bad. If you're that good with your bare hands, let's see how you handle one of God's weapons. It's one of those little shards of wisdom the fallen angel stole. Cool, it's like a bow. Now try it, Enoch. It was only when various shards of God's wisdom were stolen that Semyaza's betrayal was uncovered. 
But by then, he, together with the Grigori he led, had already fled. Nicely done, Enoch. <clears throat> They're gonna have to do something about their frame rate in this game, like. Ah, the Archangels are here. They're swans, mate. All is as Lucifer has shown. Archangels shall guide you with our voices. Enoch, you must return the fallen angels to heaven. That is your mission. Don't hey, worry. Mr. Gentleman. We'll be with you all the way. This is El Shaddai Ascension of the Metatron. A Careful now. hack and slash over. action game with religious themes. Once we breach the veil, we'll be on Earth. Bring back any memories, Enoch? Seven angels have fallen to Earth. <laughs> Big mistake. We're going to tear out their souls and lock them in this prison for eternity. These shackles will bind fallen angels in their prison. Could you open those for them? They've never been used before, so they must be real tight. Don't worry if you have to knock them around a bit. Okay. Arachiel. We can't let him live out his days on Earth. This be the place he dies. <laughs> Semyaza. You know the boss. Used to be an elder on the council. Love fool you. Armor us. <laughs> Good luck getting him to repent. Ezekiel. She talks of love, but doesn't know the meaning. the Grigori, and Semyaza's right-hand man. Watch out, Enoch! It looks like they found you. some am I really on the good side vibes <laughs> well I don't know I've never played it before the uh, I know that this was a PS2 game originally I'm sorry if that's really loud by the way it's really loud in my ears maybe two seconds I'm not going to this down in my ears a wee bit how is how is the volume balance for you guys um yeah I, I never played this on the PS2 
Um, but I was always kind of interested in it. I'm a wee bit surprised by how slow it feels now. It's quite sluggish. It's a shame that they didn't remaster this for the PS5 as well. Because it has like a wee bit of a, a wee bit of a frame rate issue. And considering this was a PS2 game, the Switch should not be struggling with this. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be better. Is that is that is that any better? This is it, Dion. Your journey begins here. <laughs> Good, good, okay. We'll keep it set there then. Please. I love the visual style of this game, it's really cool. It's just a shame it feels a bit sluggish. There's like a, like the, the movement controllers are fine. It's it's maybe because I, I can see that it's running at 30 and not and not 60. I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe it's something to get used to. It certainly seems like the opposite of that. I think you might be onto something, Mr. Gentleman. What's this thing here? <laughs> we are at your side, always. See, like now it feels like it's sixty. Now it looks like it's sixty. But the moment you start fighting anything, it just drops like really, really down a lot. Yeah, back back to thirty again now. I sense the darkness. <laughs>
As you purify enemies, their vileness accumulates in your weapon. It's possible, however, to remove, remove such vileness by purifying the actual weapons. Take heart, Enoch. If anyone can purify a weapon, it's you. God's chosen one. Alright. <clears throat> Super attack? Alright. Bravo. Behold the power of purification. It cleanses all things vile. Hey. Purify the red light. Blue light is a sign of overflowing strength. When, an equipped, when a weapon is equipped, you can move in ways that maximize that weapon's effectiveness. When barehanded, you can evade enemy attacks by spinning. By spinning. Hold R to guard and then press A to jump. Alright. So how do you switch weapons then? It says empty handed. How do you empty your hands? Fire recovery. Special moves? <clears throat> I don't know how you go bare handed though. I'm surprised they didn't release this on any other platforms except the Switch. It feels like they could have made it run way, way better on like PlayStation <laughs> or whatever. This attack is a more effective damage dealer than your regular moves. Mix it up with normal attacks for the best results. Guard and attack. Yeah, I've been I've been doing this, man. Visual presentation's amazing. I love the look of the game. But could run way, way better. And this is already in performance mode on the Switch. <laughs> hey. What's the matter? You don't trust me? I guess. Well, I'd say so far, so good. Uh-huh. You know I could never say no to you. After all, you are the Lord. Yeah. All right. Catch you later. Saving with Lucifer. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Um, leave the record keeping to me. Just give me a shortcut if you spot me. I'll report upstairs. Okay. So, Enoch, you can see Lucifer. 
Yes. Remember to speak to Lucifer. He will record your progress and report to God. What's this thing here? No. We went down the way instead of up the way. <coughs> Pardon me. He's either very confident. <coughs> Sorry. I've got a bit of your They're very stupid. Throw yeah, away. They've got to bring it back. <clears throat> the things are gonna get a lot wetter around here. Okay. of the most is the arch is the most mobile of your weapons allowing you to remain in the air for a long time use it in areas where the landing is a challenge in midair jump but hold down ah oh, you can like hover that's cool that's cool Weird, weird controlling it though. This item repairs your armor. Nice. Thank you. Oh no! Oh. No. Ah. If we beat this guy, we'll probably move I'm on. I'm sure you'll again. find them quickly, Enoch. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> That's cool. Recognize me, Enoch. <laughs> I'm actually playing this. This is cool. I borrowed this body to deliver it a message. We are at your side. Always.
Oh, no way! It's like the opening credits of the game. There's just something. I love this kind of stuff, man. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you, mate. Look for the tower. The fallen angels must be there. Enoch, Azazel is after you. You must change your name. The tower is a lie. It does not exist. Enough. If I stay, it'll be the end of me. Fear not, Hadroniel. The four great angels are with thee. I'll be getting married soon. Unlike you, I can't stay young forever. You do not age. Eternal life is just a myth. Show ever the meaning of mortality. You have been granted the gift of immortality. Your quest will continue until you find the fallen ones. Uh, take care, buddy. Oh. These lakes appeared a century ago. Uh -huh. So this is where they fell. I bet they're still close by. I come from the tower. Come from a tower land under. You don't know when to quit. Yeah, the, I love the I, want I love the art direction in this game. The visual style is so cool. Have it your own way. Have it your own way. I know. Yeah. Yo. Come in, buddy. This guy's hard, like. This is the last time you will see me. 
Do not make the wrong choice again. What are you talking about, mate? What are you talking about, mate? What? Oh no, I'm barehanded now. He is a free man. He will give you information on conditions inside the tower. Okay. He is Gordon Freeman. Gordon Freeman's notes. Observation recorded by the Gordon Freeman. Okay. Heavenly messenger. He wanders from place to place, never aging, never dying. He is wise is a wise and righteous man, a mighty warrior. But he this he is despised by those in power and must constantly change his name. He may truly be the messenger from heaven who will resurrect Ishtar. I don't know who that is. Oh. oh, cool. So we do actually have like attacks. Cool. Oh, it's a dodge roll. So holding block and then using the jump button gives you a dodge roll. Right, okay. Gotcha. That's like a launcher. Some attacks. Okay. And he's got Chun Li's lightning kick. Thank you. This is not a job for bare hands. Liberate one of their arches. Liberate? Ow. <clears throat> Steal the enemy's weapon, then purify them, make them your own. The time to strike is when you've knocked your opponent unconscious. Fight you. You're like clearly just like a mortal man. Give me that. This is cool, man. You have to give me two seconds so I can see how long we've been streaming this for. Right, so like 45 minutes then. <laughs> right. Um, I'll get like if I if I can get to another save point. Let me let me get to another save point and then we'll switch games. Get it? Because I'm playing on a switch. <laughs> Be a quality man. Go ahead, Enoch. <clears throat> Hello.
We're getting close. I feel it is. Bones. Okay. I'll be in touch. Cool. So, yeah, that's like a... Whoa, what? Why does it say no there? Oh, because I hit back before. A is okay. Right. I am a fool. Okay, that world's in. Right. Okay, so that's a cool game. It looks cool, visually. It's, it's weird that... Uh, <laughs> it feels weird that the... Uh, that the frame rate is so low considering it's a like it's a really old PS2 game and it's meant to be running in action frame rate mode. Um hopefully the developers might, you know, might work on it a wee bit more, you know, polish it up a wee bit more. I don't know, they they probably probably won't bother though. I don't know. Anyway, um I'm going to see what other games that I can try out and uh, I will be right back. So be right back. Here we go. I want to see what the frame rate is like on this one. Marvelous. Marvelous. Can you guess what this one is? Oh, that's a better frame rate. Quiet, eh? Just a wee bit. I know a lot of gamers out there don't have much patience. At least that's what Bishop, the dude at the video store, said. So I'm at the register, then I realize I got no money. I was seriously broke. Why? Because I met this smoking hot chick last night at the deathmatch bar. Man, she smelled good. So being the gentleman I am, I bought her a drink. Anywho, I decided to get a job. The gig? Assassinate the drifter. So I went where I was supposed to and waited for the guy to show up. And there he was. This cat, well-dressed, cool, couldn't tell if he was the shit or just plain all shit. Yeah, so he's styling. <laughs> Fast, aggressive, and packing heat. Bada bing. Or at least it was supposed to be. Till she showed up. Her name? Sylvia Crystal, an agent with this Watchamacallit Association. Congratulations. You are certified as the 11th best hitman. How about getting rid of the 10 killers above you and aim for the top? I want to be number one. How's that? Short and simple enough for you? It's gonna be a long, hard road. But who knows? Could kick ass. Could be dangerous. Could totally suck. What do you say, bro? Join me. Let's see how far we can take this. And for you there holding the controller right now, just press the A button. Let the bloodshed begin. Yeah, I played this back on the on the the Wii, and it was amazing. Flipping loved it.
This is the Switch version, obviously. Fuckhead! <laughs> Yo, help me out here. Where's this death metal dude? Bad answer. Thanks. It's game time. <laughs> The tutorial? Sure, why not? Hey, over here, good. Beam katana. Press the X or Y button to swing the beam katana. Yep. <laughs> Once an enemy's life runs out, you will go into death blow mode. Move the right stick in the direction shown by the arrow on the screen. Succeed and you will strike the finishing blow on the enemy. Yep. The slots line up, you've got to unleash various special attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Got it. <clears throat> the gauge in the right of the power, battery power. Yep, it'll drain its energy. You'll not be able to use the beam katana once the batteries run out. You charge your beam katana. Press the L button to go into charge mode. Okay. Move the right stick as fast as you can to recharge the beam katana. Move the right stick and totally recharge the beam katana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love No More Heroes. Hey, it's over here. Locking on and blocking. Press the ZL button to lock on. Uh huh. If you are attacked while locked on, you will block the attack. On sweet difficulty, you'll auto block when standing still. Try blocking an enemy. Yeah. Success. Hey, it's over here. Uh -huh. Right stick left or right or down to perform an emergency evade. Okay. Cannot hit you during the emergency evade. Use the right stick to perform the emergency evade. <laughs> Success. <clears throat> Continue the tutorial. Yes. Hey, it's over here. Dog. Weapon clash. If Travis's sword attack and the enemy's attack hit each other, a weapon clash will occur. When a weapon clash, you will enter death blow mode. Attack with a slash attack. The weapon clash, turn the right stick around. Go, go, go! Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're a ah. <laughs> Have you played No More Heroes before, Mr. Gentleman? Down attack. Y button. Mm hmm. Katana can be switched between high and low attacks. Use the high attacks to hit enemies guarding low. Press the X button to perform a high slash attack by using high slashes. Alright. <laughs> Slicing high and low. Travis can adopt a low slashing stance. Swing the beam katana with the Y button to perform a low slash. Some enemies will guard Travis's beam attack katana attacks. Using low hits to enemy. Uh -huh. Mr. Gentleman, you still there? Hey, he's over here, dog. B attacks. Press A or button to perform a B attack. B attacks will break an enemy's guard. B attacks also have high and low versions. A high B attack can be performed with the A button, and a low B attack can be performed with the B button. 
Okay. An enemy guarding high with a high beat attack to stun them. In the same way, an enemy guarding low with a low beat attack to stun them. Okay. <laughs> Nice. The enemy is now stunned. The stunned enemy is totally defenseless. You can then follow up with a beam katana attack. Wipe out the remaining enemies. Cool. There you go. Okay, fair enough. Throws, yes. Once the enemy is stunned, press the A or B button to grab them. Yes, here we go. This is my favourite stuff in the game. I love throwing enemies because uh, he does like total wrestling moves all the time. Yep. Brainbuster, nice. So charged beat attack. Hold down the B button to charge up your attack. When you have charged your attack to the max, you will unleash a charged beat attack. The charged beat attack is an enemy automatically be stunned. Okay. You will have have dog. Dog. Nice. <laughs> That's got to be a eh? no, no way. Charged slash. Okay. High and low, yep. High charge attack, X button, Y button, yep. Set good time. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, okay, I better. <laughs> Did they add in the... Like, I don't remember the roulette system being in the first game. Or maybe I'm thinking of the other system that was in the second game. I don't know. I cannot remember. Anyway... Hey, he's over here! Sunday! Ha! 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 Sweet. Nice. Got 
some health back, eh? There's maybe... <gasps> There's a chest, see? That's what happens when you have a little ah! Trading card, nice. Damn it! You're tough! Hey, get out of here! Die! What a pain! Get out of here! Oops. Okay. I guess we're just going back downstairs then. Really? Back now. Head out the main door. There we go. Yes, 
What a pain! German suplex, yeah, no, it's, a, it's a tiger suplex. So. Or was that a dragon suplex? Show no mercy! 
Bring me death metal set. Enter when you are prepared to fight. I believe in you and your sport. Now, off to the garden of madness. Cool. One thing that. I, oh, no, no. That's fine. No, it's not, actually. Um, do we have config? There you go. Camera Y axis. Just want to check it. Yeah, I prefer up to be up and down to be down. Yes, the trading card. Oh, it's the mask. You learn new wrestling moves by picking up the luchador masks. Do you remember those golden days in Calgary? The path of pro wrestling that you've long forgotten? Even that fragment uh, fragment of the spirit of a wrestler remains in your blood. Remember the first suplex that the master taught you? Yes, that's right. The darkness piercing. Front neck chancery drop. Who remembered an old professional wrestling move? Suda 51 is like kinda yes. lucky genius. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the toilet, eh? Is this the toilet? Okay, maybe not. Well, these go then. Beautiful, wouldn't you say? Paid for with the lives of many. When you have the strength to take life for yourself, that is true wealth. I am free of desire. So long as I have this scenery to look upon, I need nothing more. Please leave me be. You're the one leaving in a body bag. I'll only say this once more. Leave here now! Huh. Mealy? You obviously don't know me. You don't get it, do you? Hey, you know what paradise is, right? Paradise? This is paradise. The place where dreams are fulfilled. Well, you've had your dream, old man. Time to wake up! This is no paradise. All right. Then what is it? A place to die. Huh. I'm glad you and I are on the same page here. So naive. So you weird that no his beard doesn't pity. move with his chin. What a pity. You make an old man cry. Arrogant, crude little shits like you come around from time to time. Listen well, young one. The wall is high, higher than you will ever know. Ultimate sacrifice is supply. Now draw. Huh. You can take that to your grave. This can't be chance feels if I'm looking at my future self. Fast cars, dining in Maids and loyal servants at my back and call. And beads knocking on my door their own desire to kill by young They'll crook it. I realize. 
place there's really no you would keep going maybe i should have been a little more before i jumped in can't see anything running before I bail. Extraordinary. The moment I've been waiting for. The name Holy Sword is now yours. You're joking, right? I don't care about titles or power. I just want to be number one. Then master the ways of the assassin. Here's your ticket to paradise, old man. Is, uh... Yes. Oh, maximum vitality increase. Perfect. Can we talk to her? No. All right. Let's finish the quest here then. Mission. Nice kill, Travis. I didn't think you had it in you. It was rather exciting. Congratulations. You are now ranked 10th. 10th, huh? What? Do I get anything? Hmm. How about some cash? That should help you pay the bills. I'm not feeling the sense of accomplishment that I should have. So I just gotta do this a few more times, right? If you so choose, yes. And you will keep your promise? There is nothing the Association cannot do. And if I refuse... As the 10th ranked assassin, you are now a target for those who want to replace you. Anytime, anywhere, number 11 could be right around the corner, ready to put a knife in your eye. So what you're telling me is that I gotta continue fighting. There's no way out of this. You set me up, bitch. Quit your bitching and get with the program. There's only one road out of here. No turning back. Okay, how about this? If I become number one, will you do it with me? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Come on, just once. save it and then we're going to call it there <clears throat> yes uh. okay 
So guys, thank you for hanging about. That was an interesting stream. Um, I think I really, I really do like the look of uh, El Shaddai, Ascension of the Metatron. Visually, it looks really good. I'm just surprised it runs so slow, considering it's a PS2 game. I mean, these guys got No More Heroes, a Wii game, running way better, and it looks, you know, like it's got like way more colors. It looks like it's got like way more polygons and all that. So like, it's just so weird to see like El Shaddai running so slowly. Um, Duck Detective was really cool though. That was that was really really fun, and it's cool to see that. No More Heroes runs really nicely on the Switch. So yeah, guys, thank you for hanging about. Um, we will be back next week with some more uh, Hi-Fi Rush. Um, this week was kind of a bust for me. I would like, like I wasn't really, like every time a, a stream time came around, I wasn't really feeling it. But I thought I would do something today anyway. Even if it wasn't Hi-Fi Rush, I still wanted to stream something. So we got through an another, uh, another Giza Go, so... Hopefully that'll tide you over until till Monday. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next stream. Bye for now. Bye!